what it's doing is it's going to our ideal clients' websites, right? In home improvement, in construction, and it's filling out the contact form. You can see the results right here, right? I am scrolling and scrolling, and we really have a ton of leads. I'll be honest with you. I don't really remember what it was about, but if I put it on my calendar, then I was definitely a little interested. One of my goals is to build a connection very early on, so it makes the rest of the call very easy. Yeah, I like it. That's a great attitude. I like to learn no matter what. Whether it's good or bad, there's something to learn from it. So Always. Yeah. So as you can see, I am turning a cold prospect into a very warm lead that is genuinely excited to speak to me on the Zoom. So far, the stats are going amazing. I have done two intro calls and also booked two demo calls. Again, I used to spend a lot of money on paid ads and now this is coming in for free and we're also getting a booked appointment. So let's dive into the third intro call that I did right here. Right. That's what the remainder of this call really is me asking more clarifying questions to see if it makes sense for me to do a demo call and show them the SaaS plan. We stopped over uh, over the website form and you saw our ad. Basically, you want to grow your business here in, in LA. Is that right? Yep. All right. So we just did a test here at the agency and I just got back some results. I'm going to share it with you guys. We have a bot that is reaching out to our ideal clients via contact forms on their website. And so what I did was I built a funnel, linked it all up. Anyways, we've been testing a lot of stuff like text messages with automatic responses, whole bunch of stuff. However, I think I stumbled upon something that's been working well. A lot of failures with it too, a lot of CAPTCHA issues and just a whole bunch of stuff. So finally though, we're getting a bunch of responses. So I'm gonna show you, just got a bunch of results here that came in and some of these are just phone calls and missed call text back but some of these are people that are interested so i saw the form you submitted when is a good time for us to chat and so that's one I see there's another one hey paul and if you're wondering why it says paul is because i typically use paul instead of pavel because then it it sounds more american and i don't sound like I'm some guy overseas, like a Russian hacker or something. Anyways, yeah, so it seems like it's going pretty well. I'm gonna update you once I actually figure this stuff out and put together like a proper video, but a quick update, cool, because I used to spend a lot of money on ads and now we have bots and automation going out and doing a bunch of the stuff for us. All right, so what you're seeing here is the contact form bot in action. And what it's doing is it's going to our ideal clients websites right in home improvement in construction and it's filling out the contact form on the contact us page sometimes it's on the home page it's filling that out with a message and with an offer and before i had it driving phone calls i had it driving text messages to a number inside of go high level but what I realized worked better is driving it to a landing page and to a funnel so we can get automatic booked appointments. And that's exactly what it's doing here. And also you can see that it was filling out the captchas as well, right? So sometimes when you go to a contact form, it has a captcha where you have to choose things and that actually fills that out automatically as well. Super cool, let's dive in. You're probably wondering exactly how this works and what message we put in. So this is a sample of a contact form that I would fill out. And again, this is all automatic. So we're sending this to five business owners per five seconds or some sometimes it's five per second and all depends it's random so it fills out the first name last name we put in our email and i actually bought a separate domain and i made sure that it was niche specific okay so i put that in there and then the domain the email i didn't want to do it for my main email so i purchased another one and the domain i forwarded also to my main like website so again i don't you don't want to ruin your domain reputation i knew my inbox was going to be flooded so I bought a second domain, I con it confirms, and then here's the message. Hey, are you still open? Your page said close for some reason. Would love to send you some work. Can you send me your best phone number? To call or text using this link, and then I actually built a funnel. So before what I had is I had a message that said text us here and I just had my tracking number and I was getting a bunch of text messages and a lot of phone calls and that was too much. I don't want inbound leads and phone calls. So instead, I drove them to this funnel that I built. 
Okay, so again, niche growth. So you could put like landscaper-growth.com, something slash more appointments. I use something similar to this. Now, again, this isn't my exact message. I paraphrased it a little bit. So not everyone gets the same freaking thing, but it was along these lines. And this is the angle that I took when I sent this. You wanna make it super quick and super simple. And then it hits submit, right? So it automatically fills it out. If there's a phone number field, I use my go high level tracking number. And so from my tracking number, you can see the results right here, right? I am scrolling and scrolling and we really have a ton of leads. Now I will say not every single person that comes in through this system is a marketing lead and they're necessarily interested in marketing services, right? However, the people that filled out the form, I was way more interested in. So this was probably from the campaign that I ran that was the text campaign. But what's really interesting is the people that filled out the form and then actually booked an appointment. So the funnel was super, super simple. It is a landing page with our offer. We had a nice contact form and then we had a couple testimonials below it. Honestly, I don't think you need the testimonials, but it definitely doesn't hurt. Then step two is the booking page. So as soon as they fill that out, it goes to a calendar with some more proof. And then they actually book an intro call inside of that calendar, which books it then on, on my phone. And then I can see it and I can call them at that time. And then we have a thank you page. And on the thank you page, I have a ton of like case studies and testimonials. And then also after this, I have a drip campaign. So everyone that fills out the form but doesn't book in my calendar, it automatically sends them text messages, automatically sends them emails to drive them back into the booking page and book a time with me to chat about marketing and to chat about me getting them more leads. So far, the numbers are looking amazing. I booked four calls from doing this outreach literally within the first couple days of starting, which is insane. And now what I want to do is actually dive in and show you the recordings that I have of the calls. The very first call that I had, we had the Wi-Fi being upgraded at that exact time. So I needed to leave and do it from my cell phone, which means I wasn't able to be recorded, but I did end up recording the Zoom call where I actually spoke to the client and I was able to fully pitch him. Now look, if you want a full step-by-step tutorial and full instructions, videos, over the shoulder training on how I set this bot up, then you can go ahead and click that link in my description. All of my affiliates on high level are going to get this training. I go over everything, how I set it up, where I got the lead list that I put into the bot because we have to have prospects to reach out to and I go over all of that step by step. However, that aside, I do have two intro call recordings that I can play for you. The fourth one was a no-show, which is fine. It happens, so let's dive in. I for today, but I'll be honest with you, I don't really remember what it was about, but if I put it on my calendar, then I was definitely a little interested. What is it that you provide? Yeah, sure, man. You run a remodeling company, right? Just want to get that yeah. out of the way. Okay, like kitchens and yeah. bathrooms? Yes. Yeah. So one thing you can hear me say here is the word man or hey man i want to keep it very laid back right so he just gave me an objection it's so very common when you speak to someone even if they book an appointment on your calendar sometimes they just forget guys these people are so busy and i'm probably going to need to resell myself anyways and so one of my goals is to build a connection very early on so it makes the rest of the call very easy Okay, perfect. Yeah, so we're definitely on the same page then. I work with clients all over the US and I offer kitchen and bath leads and also booked appointments, not just leads, like we actually do booked appointments. Prime. Man, the Akron area, Akron, Ohio. Okay, so I asked him for his area, just learning some more details. Okay, gotcha. So I think a big mistake a lot of people do is they just dive into their services. They're like, a client asks, what do you do? Tell me about how this works. And they're like, well, we run Facebook ads and this and that. And that's not how you do it. You have to ask them a lot of questions, get them talking about themselves overall first. Yeah. Most of my stuff is in the surrounding. Any partners or any clients that we're working with? I'm looking to just build some relationships and, uh, and see if maybe we could potentially work together. If not, that's okay too. You are sure. actually the first one that reached out in the Ohio area. And sure. so you can just tell me your radius, man, and you can just set it. So one thing I did here was I told him that we only work with one company per area, which is true. And I told him that if he got our contact form submission, if he got our message, then we probably reached out to every single person in his area. And really, we're just looking to partner up with one. And that's it. And then it's closed. And we can't work with anyone else. And this is an amazing 
thing you can say to build scarcity. And again, it's not fake scarcity. It is real scarcity. We work with one company per area. Because we don't have any. A five-star rated on Google and Better Business Bureau remodeling company. We only do interior work, kitchens, bath. The cool thing about this too is as you can see for this amount of time, he is now pre-qualifying himself into my company, right? Because now he knows I work with one company and he wants that company to be him. And that is the goal of this intro. And ultimately what you're trying to do here is just to learn a little bit about his company and then tell him a very broad bird's eye view of what it is you do. And then just tell him you work with one company per area. And that's exactly what I do here. And so now he's pre-qualifying. We've been in business for XYZ. We have five-star reviews. We have this and that. And all that stuff is great and you want to get all that information first so he feels like there's some sort of application process and also you don't come off as needy because he knows hey he just works with one so he's gonna find one is it gonna be me i don't know and that's what i want him to also think i'm gonna work with someone whether it's him or not is up to him that's amazing man so you said well, it depends on the size of the project but if we were it's hard to fit small stuff into the schedule. But... So I'm just asking him some very specific questions about what he does. It's not really super important and super crucial. We're just talking a bit more. Six a month to eight a month. What we can do is just schedule like a quick 30 to 45 minute Zoom call where it's sure. on Zoom. So it's me sharing my screen. It's not like a fancy presentation. I'm literally just going to jump on. I'm going to share with you what we're doing to get interest. So to get leads, yeah. how we're turning those leads yeah. into booked appointments. And I'm just going to share my yeah. screen and show you real life examples in other states. Now I can show you this because they're not your competitors. So it doesn't matter. I'll show you what kind of right. leads they're getting, how many they're getting, what the leads are saying, what kind of projects they're interested in. I'll just show you everything behind the scenes, the ads that we're running. Like I'll just show you everything A to Z and worst case scenario, man, you'll learn something new. You'll learn about what other companies in other states are doing sure. to hit the goals that you yeah. told me about. And then, yeah best case scenario you just decide you know what you just do it for me and then we just run it okay. for you so either way you're going to learn a whole bunch and honestly you could probably take some of these strategies yourself and just run with them yeah i like it that's a great attitude i like to learn no matter what whether it's good or bad there's something to learn from it so always man. yeah let's, you want to set shoot me an email or a text or yeah, let's you want to set up an appointment now yeah let's book it right now man so all right so this is super interesting and i always sell the call this way i always sell it as a huge like almost consulting call for the client hey we are going to really get a deep dive into what you're currently doing and i'm going to show you the exact strategy that's working for us and i position it in such a way that this is not a sales call but this is going to be extremely valuable for the client and they're going to learn a lot because the truth is they are going to learn a lot. This is extremely powerful stuff that I am going to be sharing with them. And really guys, when you're doing the intro call, when you're first talking to a client, you have to sell the demo call. I'm not, notice how I'm not selling my service. I'm just saying, I'm gonna show you what we're doing and it's broad, but I'm really selling the service. So here we go into booking the appointment. All right, so as you can see, I am turning a cold prospect into a very warm lead that is genuinely excited to speak to me on the Zoom. He's gonna show up, he's gonna give me his full attention. So far, the stats are going amazing. I have done two intro calls and also booked two demo calls, okay? And that's amazing, because again, I used to spend a lot of money on paid ads, and now this is coming in for free, and we're also getting booked appointments. So let's dive into the third intro call that I did right here. Hi, sorry about that. Awesome, Chad. So nice to uh, nice to meet you here. So you run a remodeling company, right? That's right. Yes. Perfect. You guys do like kitchens and bathrooms. Kitchens, bathrooms. That's basement. I'm just at the completion stage of a basement right now. Basement suite. Awesome. Uh, most, we do mostly interior stuff, but we also do we do exterior as well. It's just not. Okay. Amazing. Sounds yeah. good. And, and so, like, how many projects do you guys roughly do? So as you can see here, we are literally about a minute and a half in and it's been mainly him speaking. So you see these blobs and that's like me saying hello. However, it's I've asked him questions. I asked him if he provides remodeling services or what kind of construction services does he do? He told me and now I'm asking even more clarifying questions and he goes in and he tells me a whole bunch of stuff about his business and about stuff that is going to help me understand whether I can even help him or I can't. I do expect it to pick up more with those as well. Okay, amazing, sounds good. Do you roughly do like then bigger projects, which is why you're only doing like one to two to three per month, or is your team just smaller? Oh, it's smaller, like 
guy for my company. Only, I'm the only person. All right, so here he's telling me that he has a very small team and I start to understand that maybe this isn't the best lead. It's under my company. I have my plumbers and my like, you know, two higher guys for sure. Okay. Okay, nice, awesome. And so your website is that? That's my- All right, so from here, what I end up pivoting into is his website, because I can already tell he's not gonna be a good fit for ads. He just does not have the budget. I don't even wanna try to sell him that. So now I'm working on selling him SaaS, and I'm learning more about his website, his reviews, and all that stuff. And that's what the remainder of his call really is me asking more clarifying questions to see if it makes sense for me to do a demo call and show him the SaaS plan. I don't, and, and really. Okay, nice. Wow. It, I don't Sure. How much is the monthly host? Like, how much is the monthly fee on a website? It's usually not. All right. So from here, he actually tells me around this area that he was paying for a website, but then he canceled it because it was too expensive. And so I learned that he just does not want to spend any money. He said he was spending like 50 bucks or a hundred dollars a month. And that was just too expensive for him. So he shut it down. And then I really realized that this was not a good lead even for Seth. It was like, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you bring some, if you bring about it, yeah. So for the most part, yeah. if you the website, like you're saying, it, I mean, it is true. The younger generations they do want to see social media and that kind of stuff, which is why we run social media app because everyone searches for it. It's just harder if you don't have a website. I will say, most of our clients, we bring them anywhere from two, three, four projects per month that are bigger, and our mm -hmm. services range. If you wanted a, our cheapest website is going to be like two, three hundred a month. And then if you want to like marketing packages, it's going to be way more than that. So I think, unfortunately, we just work with companies that are bigger. So it's probably just not really a good fit for us to work together. Okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. So, yeah, I do appreciate your time though. So this was earlier on in my journey. I still probably would have taken the demo call. He was interested in what I have to do, but at this point I just don't have unlimited time and I can't do demo calls with unqualified prospects like this. If you're just getting started and you need more practice, do demo calls with freaking everybody just to get more experience and just to get better at facing objections and all that stuff. Book everyone, but unfortunately this guy was not a good fit and it was not a very good quality. So far that was three intro calls and I've booked two out of them. I did have a fourth one later on that day and he was actually a no show. And then I do have a fifth one, but it just did not happen yet. So let's dive into the zoom calls of me talking with the clients. I can hear you perfectly. I just can't see you. One second. It should be lower left hand side. It should say video. Here we go. Cool. Amazing. Gotcha, man. Cool. So yeah, I'm glad we got connected i think we first chatted i think we reached out over uh, over the website form and you saw our ad and everything and basically you want to grow your remodeling business here in, in la is that right yep i did end up getting sales from these zoom calls spoiler alert if you want to see me close these clients and see how I handle their objections, how I go through the sales call, and how I actually generate revenue from these conversations. It's gonna be my next video. And also, if you want to see the newest trends, the newest stuff I'm testing, the newest appointment booking stuff, the newest way that I'm booking meetings for my agency, go ahead and hit that subscribe, check out some of my other videos, and I will see you on the next one.